Oh, it's been fun. Um, learning a new system. This defensive system is unique. Um, but it's been a fun week. A lot of competing. We got a great group of guys. Guys that work. Obviously, a ton of talent. Um, so it's been a lot of fun to just play with new faces, guard these guys that we have, and just you know get up and down a little bit. What has it been like for you to guard these guys? Tiring. <laughs> you mentioned the uniqueness of the system. What can you? What is most unique? Just uh, from a rotation standpoint, you know, I mean, a lot of times you're used to when you're on the weak side, especially if you're like the, the lowest guy near the basket, you're used to automatically going. And here, especially if you, we got two bigs on the court or a bigger four, the guards kind of just take care of the perimeter and the bigs always take care of the basket. And it's getting used to that. And, um, it's fun. It's fun, but that's just a whole new, whole new system. Ty, this organization has had their eye on you for a number of years now. What was it about this opportunity that appealed to you that made you want to come here? Um, a lot. I think it's a young group that's been building on something for a while. Um, a great coaching staff, um, a great group of guys on and off the court. And that's that's really important for me. Um, you know, this the season gets long and, and especially can get repetitive. So you, you know, when you, when you find a great group of guys, it makes the season a lot of fun. Throughout most of your career, you've been the third guard. Um, given the situation that's going on with Ricky and the uncertainty of that, do you feel like you're ready to be a backup point guard in this league? Uh, I felt that since I've been in the league, so, yeah. What do you think has prevented that from happening so far? Um, I think my second year I was a full-time backup. Third year I was in a unique situation where I was a part of a team that was tanking, so it was up and down. And then my fourth year I was behind Stephen Curry and Jordan Poole, so, yeah. You had a career in that Excuse me, was the last part? Uh, replicate that success. I think you just take what the game gives you. You know, I mean, that night I played 41 minutes and I was the primary ball handler. So if there's a night when certain guys are out, for sure. If there's a night where I'm playing next to Donovan or Darius or Karras or whatever the case may be, I just try to take exactly what the game gives me. The game usually tells you shoot, pass, drive. You know, you just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm here to win, I'm not really here to, you know, chase individual stats. What is it about this group that, that stands out to you in the early days that maybe you didn't know from afar or didn't see from afar? Ooh, it's a tough one. Um, I kind of expected the group to be this competitive and this talented. And, you know, I, I watched a lot of basketball. And last year they were obviously the fourth seed in the East and upset in the first round of the playoffs. But you kind of know how talented they were. And then you add guys like Max and George and Damian and myself. And there's, a, you know, talent. You play a little faster. You open the floor more. And I just think, you know, I'm not surprised how good Darius and Donovan and Karras and Evan, and all those guys that we have. I'm not surprised how good they are, you know what I mean? But it's, it's a lot of fun to play with those guys.